Hey guys, PlayStation Infinity here, and this video will show all PSP owners how to downgrade from firmware 6.39 or 6.38 down to a lower 6.20 or 6.35 firmware depending on which PSP model you have. Just to clarify on the PSP models, the 01, 02, 03, 04, and 05 model PSPs can downgrade to firmware 6.20. The 07 and 09 model PSPs can only downgrade to firmware 6.35. If you're wondering on how to find out what model PSP you have, click on this annotation up here. It'll take you to my video that'll help you find out which model PSP you have. Basically, the reason you'd want to downgrade to these firmwares is to get permanent custom firmware. Pro B6 does require you to run fast recovery after rebooting, but once you downgrade and install Pro B6, you'll no longer have to run fast recovery after a reboot. Also, there's just better compatibility with Homebrew on these lower firmwares. I will put an annotation right here on how to get custom firmware on 6.20 or 6.35 once you get there using this video. But okay, so with all that aside, let's go ahead and get started. You will need to download two things to your desktop. PSP 6.3x downgrader version 3.5 as well as the official firmware we're going to be installing on our PSP once we downgrade. Now if you guys have a 07 or 09 module PSP that's going to be 6.35 anything lower like 05, 04, 03, 02, 01, you'll be downloading 6.20. Now please watch that video up there. It'll help you identify which module PSP you have. So once you've narrowed down which PSP firmware you're going to be downloading, make sure to get the one specific to your PSP. So if you have a PSP 1000, 2000, 3000, get that version. If you have the PSP Go, there's a separate version just for the PSP Go. Make sure not to confuse the two. And all links can be found down below in the description where a link to my site will take you to an in-depth guide as well as all of the links you need there. So with that being said, go ahead and connect your PSP to your computer. Open folder to view files and go into PSP, game, and set that aside. Now the files we're going to be opening are in RAR format, so you will need WinRAR. I'll provide a link down below in the description, so make sure to get that if you don't have it already. But go ahead and open up the 6.3x downgrader, go into that, PSP, game, and we're going to drag out the 6.3x downgrader into our PSP game folder. So let it copy, close out of that. Now we're going to open up our official firmware and we're going to create a new folder in the PSP game folder itself called update. Make sure it's in all capitals. Okay. And we're going to drag the eboot.pbp into the update folder. So let it copy and I'll be right back. Okay. So we're done using the computer. We're going to head over to game, your memory stick or internal memory if you have a PSP Go. And once you find the application with the Genesis background, go ahead and click X and it'll start in just a moment. Okay, and here we get a warning screen. You're going to go ahead and click X, disregard it. And here we get a system software update screen. We're going to click X, go ahead and select next, accept, and next again, X. Now it's going to start the update, so don't do anything to your PSP, let it sit, and I'll be right back. Okay, so once the update completes, we're going to click X, and you guys will get a blue screen of death after restarting, so this is perfectly normal. Just click circle. Your PSP will reboot once again, and once it's done, you will be on this setup menu. So go ahead and set your PSP up, and you guys have finally downgraded to 6.20 or 6.35. Okay, so if you guys go to system information, you'll see that you have downgraded back to 6.20 or 6.35 and it's as simple as that. I will place an annotation in this video right there for how to get permanent custom firmware on 6.35 or 6.20, so go watch that. Also, please subscribe to this channel for more great PSP videos. Also, don't forget to rate this video if you liked it. If it helped, please comment and enjoy your downgraded PSP, guys. Have a great day.